broccoli in winter is flowering practically what we consider as the broccoli crop is this flower and yet this other one also is going to have broccoli flower yum yum good winter crop and inside the polytunnel they're really enjoying it another day with a heavy frost everything is covered in ice except chicken coop for obvious reason the chickens are there they are warm but I'm going now to show you something else which is also warm I'm now inside the polytunnel look at this beauty broccoli in December 30th 2014 Everywhere is frosty, and I have flower, a cabbage family plant. It's a very cold day in the late November, 28th of November 2015. We have some drizzle, and uh, I just came to check the hands, and I saw that we have some crop of the broccoli, surprisingly. And I also harvested the eggs that chicken lays and I harvested one apple or one apple and one small apple. That's the apple word. So far this is the broccoli, three broccolis and eggs. We are going to have a soup with this for our dinner. So that's the harvest for one day in a cold late autumn time. It's almost near the winter now. And yet allotment is providing us with food. Isn't it great? Chickens, productive and lovely. That is our broccoli. This is the one which already harvested earlier and it has given more crop but this is the one that is new now and I was sitting in the home and uh, thinking about what to cook for the dinner and uh, yeah, we decided that uh, soup it is a cold night so soup will be nice then putting the ingredient together I remembered oh we need broccoli and I remember this beauty here. Now I'm going to harvest it. Just before the harvest station, I show the size. It's a good size. Broccoli. It's fresh. I'm telling you the taste of the fresh broccoli is something different. It's divine. And I'm now going to harvest this. That is a cut surface, fresh, star-shaped, and there is another little one coming up to replace this one, and this is the beauty. Looking at this, you just think that, oh, that Romanesque broccoli, the beautiful one that has this kind of spiral screw shaped tops it's actually something normal just a little bit more tighter and that's a, that's a slight difference now this is going to our soup and I may have a little bit uh, left just for our 
have it for our salad. It's so lovely when you eat it fresh. does worth the effort. Practically all the effort is done by the plant. We just plant it and then it's an automatic watering system inside the polytunnel so just come and harvest. I'm going to take a few of these uh, salad leaves also. Probably yummy ones. And I care. This mustard. This Mizuna. Yeah, a few. Um, okay, today is the 28th of the November. This is a very cold day, relatively. Uh, we may have some early frost in the morning. But look now, this is the broccoli. I planted this uh, uh, broccoli in the uh, probably early September. And now look, it is in the crop. It has a good head, almost ready now at this stage to be harvested. I'm really delighted. There is another one beside it. And this one has actually two heads. Or no, that is a separate plant. So, this one and this one. So I'm going to harvest this now. Okay, this is the my secator. I'm putting it under the broccoli. And it's a bit difficult to do everything by one hand, but it can be done. This is my first harvest of the 2000. 15 of broccoli I'm going now for the second one Which is this one Okay, I'm cutting it from here because I see it there is another head coming Coming this is this one and the big head one is here. So I want to keep the smaller one to grow but I want to cut the big one so I'm cutting it and because it's winter it will continue to give me heads broccoli heads hopefully up to the spring because practically these are flowers of the of the broccoli plant and if I give it time up to the spring it will give me crop so I'm cutting another one, the third plant, which I have here. Actually, I didn't do anything particularly for them. This was the land that I cultivated my onions in 2014-15. Then after that, I planted uh, sweet corns and other things here. Now, I have broccoli. I've not fed it particularly with anything after the onions, so this is just naturally coming. So I have some heads again growing here, one, two, three, another one on this plant. And on this plant I have several more heads also coming, so good, good. We'll have something to eat now for our dinner. You can eat it raw, you can cook it in your soup or any stew that you have. Purple sprouting broccoli in the polytunnel. Beautiful. And also look at this lovely Mizuna and Mibuna. Ah, oh, these are lovely salad leaves. Oh, I love that. Ah, oh, that's great. And the garlics. I tried the, growing a few garlics in the polytunnel. And it's doing well. The soil is dry. That's what I like. The soil must be dry in the winter. Otherwise you will end up nasty stuff here. Just needs a re-weeding. I will do the weeding here now quick before going. 
weeds grow. Uh, the live and the riddle is easier. I should not let them really grow. Very big. As much as damage possible to the weeds. They will not survive. The hand of a weed feeding gardener. Yeah, the surface of the soil is dry, so they don't stand a chance. Anyway, when you put them out, that's it, they get dried and die. Anyway, happy day in the allotment. This is the purple uh, sprouting broccoli. It's ready to harvest, so we are harvesting it now. It's beautiful, yummy. I could have done it a little bit earlier, but I had that other one. Yummy. If I don't take it, they will go to flower. So I'm doing it now, so this continues to bring shoots more and it will have another crop hopefully. Beautiful. I have another plant here that I want to harvest it. This is just here. This one. I will try to take it as a whole. Huh? Beautiful cut. Goes for a soup. Smell divine. Oh god, they're so nicely smelling. I wish you could smell it. It's pity you two don't have any smelling thing. <laughs> yeah, we have also some there, but should I take it now? Maybe for next week. That's it. That's for now. This is our harvest for today. Fuka. Mm -hmm. That's it. Thank you. Uh, okay, this is the dinner for tonight. We're using at least some of our own crop from the allotment. The eggs, the broccoli, and some greens and of course the bread is we buy the bread but there's some flat bread that we, we like also so this is not bacon by the way this is just uh, corn oh, I think this is turkey bacon yeah it's a halal turkey bacon anyway they sell it uh, in here in, in many supermarkets you can buy that it's not bacon <laughs> Lovely food. Going to eat and enjoy. I harvested it today.